What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back for some more A Legends of the Lake Between Worlds. Um, Alright, so in the previous episode, um, I don't remember. I think it's something about getting a temple done. Something like that. Uh, yeah, so, so we're back for another episode of this game. Okay. Uh, I'm going to see if we can get another weapon here. Whoa, what's dark in here? Four. Three. Oh, you're here already? The fate that we have, we have to this little chat, but you're, you're a whole two seconds early, Pain Link. I can see the future in the, my crystal ball, and I have it that there is a gift in the, your near future. Very near, as in now. And you have the hand glasses. Don't hesitate to use them when you're in trouble. Those are the hand glasses. Do, don't be fooled by this slightly silly appearance, Paint Link. Those glasses are, allow the wearer to behold things amazing and strange. For, for if it, you're in pl a place where you feel hopeless and, and stuck, you uh, crap. <laughs> look at the world through those glasses. You may catch, you may just catch a glimpse of a hint, ghost. Such ghosts that can give you tip and tips and tricks from the great beyond. They can put you back. A, oh, sorry, I can't see. Uh, on the right path. So when, when doubt in doubt, look at and look to to the other side with with those glasses. Would you like to see the power of the hand glasses in action? There's a cave near my shop. Put on the hand glasses there. I know how they work to be honest you guys, um, but just for reasons, I could put them on and show you guys how it works. I'm this game has been out for a while, so I'm sure you guys know how these work. But just for the lulls. Just I need to figure out how to do this. Okay, so why? There you go. So it dims everything, even the noise. Okay, so let's talk to him. Hinkle study is study is studying his book. Hinkles and play coins. Your system will give it give you a play coin every hundred steps you take. If you can get if you get ten play coins a day and you hold can hold a maximum of three hundred, you will find it yourself stuck in a play coin. Okay, basically it's just getting a tutorial on it. So would you like to offer one play coin? Um here, let me just show you. I have that many play coins. And remember, once you give it up, you can't get it back. Offer. So basically, I guess wondering how to get so many just because I closed my thing and when I'm like going to school and walking around to school, it counts as taking steps. Or even if the bag shakes. Anyway, hmm. What does uh, my book say about this large boulder here? Sorry, I need to scratch my nose. Anyway, um, ah. Uh, Here's it. Here's the tip. To move it, you will need the Titan's mitt. The hand goes. It goes back to studying. Uh, back to its book. There you go. That's it. That's all it does. Okay. <laughs> Alright, guys. So the next place we're gonna make our way to, which I haven't got the gloves yet, have I? Yep. No, I haven't. Uh, is I love this game, man. Like I really do. This game, I don't know why. I just had to bring it up. This game is so iconic, and it's because I don't really like to see two of these other games. So let's just tell you something. I uh, want to go up here, right? Yes, I do. Okay, so we're gonna go in here. Whoa, -ho -ho -ho! that was close. Not really. Ah, these rocks, real pain in the neck. Customer. Hey, you're that kid who works it for the blacksmith, right? Decided you had enough of that place, huh? Here to my, to be my apprentice, maybe. <laughs> Just joking. I wouldn't do that to your master. Um. Okay, okay. I, I thought there was more to it than that. All right, cool. Well, trying to pick up my DS again. All right, cool. Um, sorry to freaking adjust this crap. 
I was on the mount the mountain mining ore when all of a sudden the earth started shaking. When I got home, the place was wrecked. Rocks, there was wreck. It was a wreck, sorry. Rocks everywhere. You seen outside? I would be busting my back for days to clean up that mess. No, oh, excuse me. At least the picking up of rocks and smashing the things that feel pretty good. Wish they were full of good ore, though. What? You want to try it too? Raff. Feels good smashing stuff. Huh? Can't do it. Sorry to hear it. Can't stand it to see a nice kid like you not able to throw your weight around. Thank you. It's so ugh, it's so pathetic. Here, take this. It's a hand hand me down from your tr from yours truly. You feel tougher with that on your with that on your mitt. I never heard of that term. Anyway, ought to be a, a ought to be able to pick up rocks, smaller ones anyway. And if you get smashing, it, you just can't stop yourself. Well, there's a whole bunch of them outside. <laughs> just a joke. That's a, I, that's all. I wouldn't really tell you how to do my work out there. Still, if you do, who am I to stop you? Now these rocks aren't gonna clean themselves up. Back to it. And tell that old smithy master of yours it's, I said hello. Okay, you're welcome. I'm doing your work for you. You get, I think, 50 rupees if you do this. So, yep, let's do it. Okay. Uh, uh, oh, God, I knew that's going to happen. Hey, guts of a monster. Now, I do want to clarify my videos are going to be much shorter. They're going to be like around 20 to like 15 minutes. Why so short? Oop. Why so short? Because, well, I kind of prefer it that way for right now, just so I can get a little bit of my views. Because my views are not the greatest; they're pretty, they're pretty small. I get like two to four views, and after like two to three months of my videos being out, they get to like seven to like maybe even like ten views. That's pretty bad, guys. I, I, I'm sorry. I'm going to cut them short. Maybe you guys prefer it that way, just because. Uh, okay. Where, where have all those darned rocks go? Got to. Oh ho! You went on ahead and did the job for me. I got. To thank you for that. All that. Come on in, okay? Glad to share that. What's in that chest with you? You've earned it, kid. Why didn't he just? Give me the money in my hands. I mean, I really didn't just. Whatever. I guess that's kind of cool. Uh, whatever. All right, cool. Let's keep making our way. Uh, I think we need to go back to Ravio's place or well, my place, to speak or whatever. All right, let's. Okay. Now, please go away. Thank you. Damn, these freaking crows are so damn annoying. Yeah, maybe hold my yes this will help me. Okay. I think we're gonna see some freaking moving potato um not the potatoes, um Yep, burgers. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> Just need to spit it out. You feel me? Okay. Damn it man, I just got my health back. Alright. Cool. Ooh. I'm sorry, I don't exactly remember how to navigate your way through. Oh, okay. damn, man. As soon as I get my freaking... My lies here. What? Wasn't there a guy up here? Oh, yeah, that's freaky. I swear. Here, let's see if we can fix this. Oh, sorry. I had to show that cutscene. Alright. Alright, I'm not sure that's better. It kind of is. Let me focus. Oh, okay. Nope. Yeah, I need to come back here with Ravio. Alright, okay, I'm gonna go back to my house.
I know my my fortune said to take care of green, but that bell is really doing a job in my noggin. She's really complaintive. All right, well, let's go look in here. Probably get some health. I wish I was like going to the past. Welcome back. I still haven't found anywhere else to stay, so I spruce things up here. <laughs> I've made it into my my into a nice little shop for myself. Pretty great, isn't it? Oh, uh, my house. Like my dude, come on. So I take I take things didn't go as planned. But but the item I lent you you came from ha came in handy, right? You know, there's actually plenty of more where that came from. Ravi was all about helping heroes. And the, the way things are going, I think you're gonna need my help. You know what they say, you wash my, uh, my ear, I wash yours. How about you rent me, me your house and I'll rent you a lot of items. That doesn't work for me since I'm not getting paid from you. Then it's a deal. I mean, it's not like you, you ever come here, right? Oh, wow. <laughs> That's messed up. Alrighty. Then uh, here's how my shop works. I rent a wi wide range of items and weapons for to you. And the rental period, that's the best part. You keep rentals at for a long time. Specifically until the next time you fall in battle. Which might never happen, right? Sure, you look tough. But if you do fall in battle, my pal Shiro here will swoop up in and collect into collecting my property. <laughs> so cute. Right, just like that. Swoop right in, collect my stuff. While you are just lie there. Okay. <laughs> He's just gonna leave me in and die. Alright. See so you see anything you want. I got plenty of gear besides the bow. If you find anything you like, just walk up to him and press Oh really man. Okay, well we need the hammer. Not not that. Not that, please, please, not that, not that, not that. You interested in the hammer? We've got a special going today. The rental is 20 rupees. Like my wiener. Make sure you take good care of my hammer, alright? Alright, we also need this. You interested in the tornado rod? We got a special going today. The rental is 20 rupees. Make sure you take good care of my tornado rod, alright? Okay, so we need the tornado rod and. See you next time! Okay, so we need um, like, not die. I know that's a reference to Twilight Princess where the, there's a scarecrow there. Only thing is a scarecrow never breaks in Twilight Princess. Not like this game. Okay, uh, so I think if we talk to Gramps, we can like get the street street pass thing going on. So I'm just gonna go up there. Are you really the green thing I'm supposed to be taking care of? Cause you look like you're doing just fine. Well, whatever. Nice, see, nice to see you now and then. Uh, okay. Here he is. Ever stop thinking how many times you just uh, pass or right by people on the street? You know all our life. Well, I know a secret that will make passing by people a lot more fun. Because I am, I am in business of introducing people such as yourself to street pass. Want me to tell you all about street pass battles? Yeah, sure. Why not? You can battle players that you've t tagged with street pass. There are characters that become shadow link characters in this world. Once they appear, you can then battle them. The only item you can use are those that you have selected before you begin the ba begin battle with the Shadow Link. Don't worry, your hearts will be fully restored before and after the battle. 
and no matter whether you win or lose the fight, you will leave it with the items that you you battled with. So battling with Shadow, battling Shadow Link, you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. Select select setup to create your own the Shadow Link character and send out to, oh, there's a street pass. Oh, there's one more thing to know. The name you choose will be shown to other via street pass. Keep that in mind if you choose it to send your shadow link to others. Any other street pass tasks that I can help you with? Ah, uh, set up. So we're gonna end up the episode setting, helping myself set up. I guess. Okay. Yeah, I guess this is good. I'll need to save your game first. Cool. So we're gonna leave off the episode right here, guys. I know it's rather short, and really, you guys didn't see anything special or story progressing going on right now. But um, nothing really important was meant to happen. Some stuff besides getting the items we need, um, the power mids, and all the stuff. So <laughs> you okay. I'm sorry. So yeah, that's really all that's going on in this episode. Another thing to bring up, I'm not sure if I mentioned it in any other episode. But, um, that old man I'm talking to right now is actually linked from Link to the Past. He's so, 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 that's pretty neat, I guess. It's a nice, um, detail that Nintendo added in that he re finally returns back from Link Link's Awakening. Which, I will be starting tonight. I'll be starting one of the three, um, Game Boy games of Zelda, and we'll see how that goes. I'm not super thrilled, because I'm not a big fan of the, those 2D Zelda games, but... I heard they're pretty nice. I've never beaten it, so yeah. Anyway, so I am Twin Skin Guide, and now I'm gonna see you guys in the next episode. I'm out.